So I'm here at work right now. We just got a 2018 Shelby GT350 in. Uh, I've seen these things in person before. Anybody who's been to any kind of car show, anybody who's been cruising down the street has probably seen one of these things, and they are freaking boss. I will say this though, nothing has changed for 2018. Now on the GTs and the EcoBoost, you'll see that they have changed the front end, the tail lights, and things like that. They've taken things from the GT350 to make the new 18. Some of the styling cues that you'll see on the front bumper, uh, especially with the quad tip exhaust, then the active exhaust as well. But as far as the GT350 is concerned, it's still staying true to the 15 to 17 body style. Much like you've probably seen with the teaser photos that they put out right now with the GT500. Still using the old taillights, still using the old headlights, and I don't see it changing much from that. They're probably just going to tweak the front end on this and some of the styling cues, um, you know, along the side, maybe, maybe in the rear to update the GT350 to the 500. That way they stay very similar to one another. You can see on here you have your Cobra emblem that's been known to be Shelby. As I said, you got the microfiber here with the stitched leather on the steering wheel. You have different modes here with your suspension and your steering that you don't have with the GT or EcoBoost models. Of course, you have your red start-stop button, which is exclusive to the Shelby's, your launch control switches, and your active exhaust switch, which you don't have in the GTs. You do have launch control, you do have active exhaust, but it's not controlled by a switch. You have your uh, red carried on here to your shift knob and then you have your performance pack basic gauges here along with your chassis number here for plaque for your GT350. The GT350 for 2018 still uses the old gauges. I think it probably would have been nice if Ford updated that and at least given the option to have the digital dead. The seats kind of have a microfiber insert here with the leather which you really can't see at the front because it's covered up here but they do have GT350 stamped into the leather, which I think is a nice little touch. The microfiber suede inserts continue onto the door too, which is a nice touch. It's actual leather here on the door, it's not just stamped. Underneath the hood you still have the GT350 5.2 liter engine, uh, your Voodoo engine. It's telling you here that it was hand built with pride. It's got the person's name scrolled uh, scratch into it tells you what line it was built on this thing is putting out about 526 horsepower and it is a flat plane crank v8 so you're going to get a different sound than what you would get from your normal gt but this thing is sick one thing that they do for delivery is they take off the front splitter so it doesn't scrape coming on and off the truck so this one still hasn't had it put back on but once it goes through pdi which is prepping it for a customer come and pick it up it'll be placed back on like with any of the ford performance vehicles you got your bembro brakes of course they're quite a bit bigger here on the shelby and then you got your drilled rotors which appears to be a two-piece rotor if i'm not mistaken and then on the gt 350s r r is what you would get is a same pattern here for the wheels except they would be carbon fiber